Good evening, everyone, and welcome to RVing in New England. It is April 10th, and I'm going to drop our signage down and bring John up here and see if we can't get this baby going tonight. we got a, a fun show tonight. Hey, John, how you doing? Bob, good evening. It, uh, it's the first day I've got the motorhome out of storage, and I was going to stay in it tonight, but you know what? 41, 42 degrees. I think I'll wait. I'll wait, I'll wait till the weekend. Oh, come on. No guts. Come on. No guts, no glory. <laughs> Just brains. Yeah. <laughs> yes. brains. Uh, check the propane. Maybe you don't have enough propane either. Well, you know, uh, that's a good point. I haven't checked the propane, but um, I've got no power in the back because I need new batteries. So the, the, uh, <laughs> the burner probably wouldn't start anyway. So yeah. Okay. Right with that. All right. We, don't, we don't have too much on the, uh, the calendar. I, I saw the video you did campers in down in uh, Connecticut. John did a nice job. They've really done a, uh, it's an impressive building, the new service Beautiful. center, the, the pot store, is, uh, the, the parts accessory store is huge. Yeah, it is. Job. It is. There's a nice waiting area there for people that are having service done. And uh, sure. they pretty much tripled the size of the interior space there. Wow. Um, they're going to be putting an indoor showroom in where the garage is uh, uh -huh. in the old building. Um, so okay. they'll be able to take some small class C's or B's or pop-ups in there. Um, so yeah. people be able to look at their favorite year round without having to go out into the beautiful New England weather. That's so that was okay. the only um, only open house I know of this weekend that I've been notified on right now is our newest RV dealer, uh, Nerve the Dealer, Tim's yeah. RV out in Irving, yeah. Mass. And we hope yeah. to do a video from there. But he's got an open house on Better Saturday and Sunday with food and door prizes and three hundred dollar gift certificate to his pot store. Deep discounts on all new trailers, 20% off all in-stock RV parts. And, and speaking about parts, the thing that impressed me when I went out to see him uh, set everything up is he's got what I believe is the best collection. I won't call it oddball, but he goes out to Elkhart and he buys up a lot of loose you know, job lots or end of runs or salvage type materials. So he's got battery covers, propane tanks. He's got... Tires coming out the gazoo. I mean, he's, he's just got everything. So what I would say to those who are following us is, if you do it, if you're a do-it-yourselfer and you like to work on your own rigs, uh, and you can't find something, you you want to give Tim a call because he's probably got it in the warehouse out there. And if you don't believe me, go out this weekend and see him and, take and take go through what he's got. But yeah. it, it's amazing. We went to a couple. Um, open houses last weekend up in New Hampshire and Vermont. And I'm telling you, the traffic was impressive. We were at uh, Country Camper of New Hampshire at their new store just outside of Concord. And uh, they didn't have any room left to park in the facility. They had people coming from um, parking on the, on the main road right out front. Uh, what's going on with your camera? You're shaking away. I um, it slipped off this stand a little bit. I apologize. I was kind of juggling the camera in my stand. I thought you were having an, I thought you were having an earthquake in Hudson, but yeah, <laughs> probably it probably looked like that. Let's see, uh, 150 miles north up to Meckelson's, and they're the nicest people. Yeah, and uh, I think 60 years or so in the business for them. Yep, yep. Uh, the founders are in their 90s, and they still visit the they still visit the business every day. And we talked to three members of the third generation as well as Bruce. Yep. So nice people up there. All right. Let's 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 bring our friendly guest in because whenever we bring Mike Perry on the show, number one, it's always a fun time. Mr. Perry, good evening. Good evening, Bob. Hey, John, I don't think the shakes were from an earthquake. I think Bob's Jack Daniel glass is empty. <laughs> No, 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 that, that, you, you got to take care of your priorities, right? you got to take care of your priorities. I've got my purified water here. Exactly. I don't even have a store brand, I have the store brand, Mike, at least you got uh, a national brand. <laughs> so, Mike, did you have something you wanted to say first, or yeah, do you want to I say to everybody? We have a... Uh... An announcement to make. I got permission from my boss to actually uh, talk about it tonight. Wow. Um, yeah, I know. Uh, World premiere. Drum roll, Bob, please. Drum roll. Right. Starting on May 1st, Dealer Resources Group has been hired by WAFCO. 
to be their representatives for all their product lines. And what Dr. Jerry Dr. 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 Wafco, they're, um, if you don't know the name Wafco, most of our dealers out there do. And I, they I make waffles? Positive Tim does. They make all your power converters, inverters, uh, energy management system, transfer switches. Uh, oh. They have 80% of the OEM market out there. Wow. I've, I've heard the name, but I wasn't sure what products that they have. So that, that yep. fits in you know, really good with your other products. I mean, it's something that you guys are really skilled on. So that's that's a great announcement. Yeah, so uh, we're going to be going out in two weeks to do training out at their facility and stuff. And, uh, yeah, we're really happy about it. We're looking forward to it. Mike, would, would a consumer ever know the brand? Um, would, would Let me put it this way. Would an educated consumer uh, be smart to ask for that particular brand? Um, um, wait, or is it something so hidden that they'd never know? No, I mean, if they have issues with their, you know, power converters or they got an older unit that they want to upgrade stuff to. I mean, you know, the thing about Wafco is they do have training, uh, certified training for the parts people for sales. And they also have certified training for the technicians as well. So, you know, it all starts in the parts department where there you can do the upsell to the customer with the product. Hmm. So maybe we can bring them, bring them in to do some training for our technicians, Mike. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Super. Yep. It may be let's, let's run the let's run the uh, the rack here. See who's on here today. Oh, uh, Diane Diane Quayley from Maine is on, and why can't I get that off the screen? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Al Al Jackson's on. Jerry Plant is on from Cape Cod. Uh, Adam's on again. Hi, Adam from North Haven, Connecticut. Michelle Fontaine's on. She says, John, heard you're doing a piece for Art Rolling on TV at Yellowstone. So I know you're going out there on vacation. So I guess they wanted a pleasing personality in the middle of Yellowstone National Park, and it must be you, DePetro. Okay. Yeah, they, want, they want to see if that – we're, we're going to test this new bear retardant clothing. Oh, okay. That's and good. if it works. If it doesn't, then, Bob, I suggest about June 20th, look for a new co-host. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Well, Mike, you know, one of the reasons we love to have you back, uh, and it's always a popular show because you've got so much information. Uh, where would you like to start? It will kind of give us a, a give the folks an, a little bit of background, because around the beginning of the year, as we're doing all of our consumer shows. You guys are doing all your distributor shows and your OEM, show, your manufacturer shows, picking up new products, looking at new products, finding out which ones are enhanced and improved. So you you brought a bunch of them tonight to uh for us to talk about, but give them a little background on how, how you collect all this stuff. Um, well, basically, uh, you know, our, uh, our owners of the company, I mean, they, they are out there on a daily basis communicating with the, uh, the vendors and always, we're always looking for new products, new ways of doing uh, business, uh, expanding our, our company and our footprint in the RV industry. Great. Yeah. Like swing to your right just a little bit. You're hitting the left. Yeah, they, they, yeah that, that's good. You're hitting the left edge, and some people may have seen you being cut off. Where would you like to start tonight? I got a bunch of. Uh, oh, why don't we start with, that you uh, sent me? some wine garden product? New new wine garden product. I've uh, been on the road, well, obviously since January, but uh, like you said, been doing a lot of the uh, distributor shows and some open houses and stuff, and along my way of doing some of these open houses. I've been driving around and noticing these units on top of dealers existing inventory out there. And WineGuard has come out with a new, I'm gonna say first of its kind antenna system. Uh, this is called the Air 360. The Air 360 is on the OEM side, and uh, there's a lot of OEMs out there that are using this product. And what it is on the OEM side is if you have a trailer and it's got this, this unit on there, your AM, FM radio antenna, and your um, they have a brand new omnidirectional TV antenna that goes inside of that. And uh, that omnidirectional TV antenna gets 50 plus miles. Um, on the retail side of it, it's called the 360 plus. And, uh, John, I know you've got a smaller rig and this would save you a lot of roof space up on top of your roof because mm. on the 360 plus, 
You have the same thing with the AM FM radio antenna, the new omnidirectional TV antenna. And if you decided you wanted to go with a Wi-Fi 4G system, and I know you're going out to Yellowstone now, and there is no Wi-Fi out in Yellowstone, but there are 4G cell towers in the area. Both AT&T and Verizon have cell towers out there in Yellowstone. Hey, Mike, would you just explain to our viewers um, the difference between OEM, aftermarket, and retail? Because yeah. they might not be uh, familiar yeah. with the terminology. Yeah, I mean, the OEM side, that is your manufacturers of your trailers, your motorhomes that will buy products from the manufacturers and install them themselves at the plant during time of production. That's the Winnebago's in the Forest Rivers in the Thors. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, but on the 360 plus, you can see that little white box in there. That's called a gateway unit. That is a option to add on after the fact of purchase of the 360 plus. So if you purchase a 360 plus at a dealership and three or four months, five months down the road, you decide you want to add the Wi-Fi and the 4G, you purchase that gateway box, which is going to be about $299 and you can add Wi-Fi and 4G to your unit just by snapping. So Mike, all, all RVs have the antenna hookup, so they may not want to go to satellites and do all the fancy stuff, but if they want better reception as they're going around campground to campground, this would be what they want to buy, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, if you've already got a TV antenna and you want to upgrade it to something like this, because number one, it's not exposed to the elements. Number two, um, you don't have to worry about tree branches knocking you off or forgetting to crank down your antenna. So it's, yep. I guess, like I said, it's pretty much the first of its kind, you know, on the retail end of it. And uh, it's totally enclosed. Hey, Mike, before we go into other categories, I think uh, it's fair to mention here that when Bob and I were out in Salt Lake City for the big industry event, um, a lot of the talk in several of the seminars was about being connected. You know, people want to get away, but they still want to be connected. They still have to connect. And, and the number of people that are young and working from the road is growing bigger and bigger every day. It and is. certainly this product must answer some of those questions. And it does. I mean, you know, I do the Hershey show, as Bob knows, and I also do the Tampa Super show. And I'll tell you what, um, you know, at Hershey show, I probably sold 20 something units and out of the 20 something units, probably uh, 16 to 17 of them were for full time RVers that are still working out of the campers and want to make sure that they have a connection, whether it's Wi-Fi or whether it's 4G driving down the road. Um, one young girl, as you're, like you're saying, John, is we had a young lady who uh, she goes through 300 gigabytes a month on her program that she has with Verizon. And she is grandfathered into that. Um, 300 gigabytes? Yeah. She does a lot. She has a media, uh, internet media company that she actually does like uh, four different dealerships out there. She does all their media, their Facebook, their internet. That's all she does. Mm -hmm. Wow. And she wanted to make she sure. She the laptop all day. Yep. And she wanted to make sure she had some type of connection all the way around. And so she ended up buying the, as you guys know, and I've showed it before on the show, is the... Uh, WineGuard Connect 2.0 with the wide Jerry, wants, Jerry wants to know if it's comparable to the King Jack. Um, uh, no, the King Jack has nothing on this because King, King Jack, you can't add a Wi-Fi unit. Okay. And Michelle says that uh, WineGuard, of course, is a sponsor on Rolling on TV and yep. you got their own contest going. Brad, Brad's got the best comment so far for tonight. Uh, uh, uh. You know, Brad, Brad Moore. Wine 30. It's Wine 30 in Lakeville. He must is that be, a, is that yeah, a I don't think I don't think he's sitting out on the lake tonight though. <laughs> Not if, yet. He, if he is, he's pushing ice 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 um ice flows away from this boat. Probably because right. he held up a bottle of water. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what uh where would you like to go next, Mike? Um any way you want, Bob. Whatever one you got next. Okay, this one. This these these I like. These I like. Um, if you are an RVX, um, 
Eric Sell, who, you know, we all know Eric Sell is Suburban, Coleman Air Conditioners, and Max Air Products. They introduced 25 new products out at the RVX show. Right. Um, this is one of them. Uh, right now, it's only offered on the OEM side, but I just wanted, you know, people to be aware of it. And uh, I was at a show two weeks ago, and one of the little teardrop style campers that has the slide out um, kitchen in it with the refrigerator and a stove actually had this new brittle top it's uh it's it's brand new it's like an 11,000 BTU brittle top it's a uh, cast iron top so you just got to season it it's got a drip pan so it's easy cleaning but uh but yeah that's brand new out on the market now that's that only but is that only for OEMs Right now it is. Right now it's on the OEM side. They're going to, I mean, because it connects into the system. So if you've got a quick connect on your camper, yeah. you can connect this into a quick connect. So okay, so that would be competitive to, say, the black films that everybody talks yep. about on the forums all the time? Yep, exactly. Except so what's, the, what's the size on it, Mike? Um, it's, I think it's like a 24-inch. 24 by 24. Mike, is that something that you just place over your gas burners or is that nope. a totally different nope. system? It's a, it's a whole system in itself. Oh, contained. It's black yeah. stone griddle top. Yeah. Got the burners underneath of it. You Obviously, you can see it's got the dial on it to uh, select temperature and stuff. So, I mean, burgers, bacon, eggs. You cook so that, that. That'll be your primary um, source of heat on, not heat, but your primary <laughs> cooking opportunity yeah because that's like i said that's on like one of those little you know 18 foot teardrop campers with a kitchen that slides out the back and the tail the uh the back of the camper opens up like a trunk and you got your your sink and all that stuff in there too but at, at some point they got to go at the market on it because that's such a yep. popular unit in the at the market uh the induction top down below um uh, i i saw that at uh Salt Lake on, on a lot of the smaller trailers too, rather than the, the range top. So they're starting to put them in even the inexpensive trailers. Yeah. I mean, the, uh, the induction cooktops, uh, I mean, that's, that's all, you know, on the mm -hmm. end of it as well. I mean, basically that's for people that are looking for the extra cooking space. I mean, it can sit on a picnic table, you can set it on a table and just plug it into the side of the camper. If you're looking for some extra cooking space, we've got a dual, top and we have a single burner that's interesting um but they're also building them into the counters though too right on these here um, yeah that, are those... that one you're looking at right now both of these are just portables just po oh, oh they're both portable okay yep, both portable. all right okay uh we're gonna jump we're gonna try to do this right this week john <laughs> you can do your you can do your uh plug to share while i bring up this week's sponsor yeah, exactly. And what we want to do, folks, is uh, thank everyone who has joined us so far and just ask that what you do in the in, in momentarily is to look at the bottom of your screen where there's a button that says share. Share this with people that you know that uh, are interested in RVing, some people that are getting into the RV lifestyle for the first time, and some that are um, interested in joining us in the near future. So the only reason we can reach seven to eight to 10,000 people per week is through um, the efforts of our studio audience. And Bob and I think our show is one of the most unique in the entire country in that we do take quote unquote live comments and really our audience really steers our show. So we wanna thank you so much for joining us and also thank you for sharing as well. So okay. Bob, I know you wanna talk about our sponsor. Yep, and this week our sponsor on week two of our contest for April is RV Month in New England is Cold Springs RV up in Ware, New Hampshire at coldspringsrv.com. And you can enter our contest. It's on the website uh, right where you are now. Slide down, you'll see the link. If you don't see it, you can go to nervedcom forward slash contest. Enter the contest for a $100 gift certificate redeemable at Cold Springs RV. And just above there in the top left, you can see their services. When they say they're a full service RV dealership, they are indeed. They have a tremendous parts and accessory store. They have the RV dealership. They have the Cold Springs Camp Resort just out behind them. Uh, five star uh, campground right behind the store. They this year opened up the RV Pro Body Shop 
They have full body shop capabilities, including full paint and repair. And they have their ser new service facility, which is just down the street, which gives them a lot more service capability. So check out coldspringsrv.com and see everything that they have to offer you. So I'm going to bring Mike back up, and we're going to see what else he's got on his plate tonight. But before we go further, um, one of somebody asked, um, "Is that in place of a cooktop?" Um, oh, yeah, Al, uh, Al, Al, Al Jackson asked Mike, uh, "Mike, would this in place of a range top?" Uh, at the very end, Al, you, you mentioned that right now they're both portable units, right, Mike? Yeah, they're right now they're just portable units. I mean, if you got a camper that doesn't have a a range top in it. Yeah, you can just put it right on your counter and plug it into the an outlet. Yep. Okay. Audrey Foley Egan. Hi, Audrey. Audrey's here. She says, gorgeous campground. It is indeed. I had a tour around there, all paved streets, five swimming pools, uh, some destination campus. They now sell uh, the park model trails again. If you saw the video I did with Ray Panzino this week. Uh, they, that's it's one heck of an operation up there if you haven't been there. Scott Nichols is on from Marshall. Hi, Scott. And uh, so let's see. Let's go. Let's go to the one that I put the pitches backwards on, Mike. <laughs> there you go. I, didn't, I was supposed to go left to right, but uh, talk about this Coleman uh, gadgets here. Yeah, I mean we have um, again Eric Sell. Like I said, whoops, there goes my thing. <laughs> Tonight, this is the night to mess up our computers. Well, yeah. 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 I mean, Eric Sell has come out with some innovative products. Like I said, they introduced 25 different items. And we actually had this down at uh, one of the distributor shows. And it's a Bluetooth app on your phone that you can control air conditioners, uh, furnaces, um, you know, anything that has to do with the uh, – the Coleman line or the Suburban line. Um, as you see there, there's a video uh, in the picture next to it, and that's actually our friend Mark Polk at RV101 who does a lot of their YouTube videos on installing or introducing new products. And um, that is the Bluetooth ceiling assembly. It's good for the um, non-ducted ACs, the, the 9000 series and the 8000 series Coleman's. And it's just a matter of installing that ceiling assembly and being able to operate everything right off of your Bluetooth. Mm. So if you so if you're uh, you turn the, the heat if it's the spring and you turn the heat down a little bit, you go to the restaurant, but you're going to go back to the camper and you want to fire it up and turn the heat up. Just dial up your app on your phone and yeah, go no, go, no go set. On that ceiling assembly, um, you can operate up to three air conditioners on four different devices. Wow. 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 So who would, who would be the person that would this would be aimed at, Mike? Obviously, it's all the younger campers that are coming into the business. I mean, millennials and stuff, they all want stuff that's all innovative and just plug and play and not have to do a whole bunch of stuff with buttons. <laughs> Except mm. on there. Yeah. Well, exactly. they, they, they want the apps and, and they want all the electronics and, and exactly. people are building that in there, which, you know, puts an extra demand on us, um, you know, in the dealer community to get the technicians trained on all of this new um, technology because somebody's got to troubleshoot this if there is a problem. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, I mean, it, it's pretty simple. And Mark will show you on that video. If you go to uh, the YouTube video for the for Mark Polk RV 101, putting in the the uh, Coleman ceiling assembly, you know, he, he shows you just exactly how to install it. I mean, uh, it's just a matter of taking out the old assembly and reinstalling the new assembly up there. Yeah. His style is, his teaching style is great. I mean, there's, there's nobody better when it comes to doing those videos. They're not on tonight, so I'm not sure uh, where Mark and Don are. Yeah, Audrey's got a very important question. And then we had a celebrity join us after. If you read Audrey's question, because I think that's important. That uh, she wanted to know if it alerts pets. No, that one doesn't. But uh, the, that Blue Stream uh, sensor that we had on last year uh, locally, Audrey. In fact, uh, I still have some samples in the garage, John. Remind me to get Audrey a set. I'll get you one, Audrey, that you can uh, put in. It is Bluetooth activated on your phone. She's uh, leaving. So, I think Audrey 
She's probably got the countdown on Friday afternoon. She leaves from, from Myrtle Beach for Pirate Land. But this Friday? This Friday. All right, let's figure out how to get it to it tomorrow then. Let's Okay. That'll, and, that'll be your that'll be your job to Petro. I'll be out and around tomorrow. Jim okay. Tara is on. Jim okay. uh, Tara from Arlington RV is on. And like I said, Scott is on also. And our celebrity, Dwayne Cyrus, who um, either is going to appear on the Ellen Show or just did appear on the Ellen Show. Um, Dwayne, is he on? I don't see him. Dwayne just said Dwayne Cyrus is watching. See, I, yeah. I'm watching yeah. on my phone so I can see who's watching. I don't see that. Mike, have you, have, you, have, you seen, have, you seen, Mike have you seen the Winnebago video of the Rebel? When they were testing, they had the test track out of Salt Lake City, and they no. were taking all the bloggers and the journalists out on it. No. And they had, they had run through this course, I don't know, several times. And it was up and down mud hills and, and puddles and what have you. And they, they did it one time too many, and the rebel got stuck in the middle of the mud pile. <laughs> Chad, Chad Reese, Chad Reese, not Dwayne Cyrus, Chad Reese, walked through the mud pile and carried the people out of the rebel back to dry land. And, and, and I think Dwayne got carried back as well because Dwayne was stranded in the unit. There you go. Oh, that's all. Well, yeah, so we can't blame him. All right. He's leaving tomorrow morning. All right. Oh, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow well, morning. Yeah. Yeah. Unless she's going by Hudson uh, or going down. If she's going down 495, maybe I could make a range and then they could play with it on the way down and figure out what to do with it. So get creative, Audrey, and you know, send us a note afterwards and let's see what we can do for you. Yeah. I think mentally she already left. Right. Probably. So she's probably actually she's probably watching us from the motorhome on the Could TV be. while she's yeah. while she's still packed. She's probably doing some last minute packing. Yeah, right. Ryan Ryan's on tonight. You know, oh, and, and, and that's and with, that's Brad's on. Yeah, if she, I, I see I know why Ryan's on. Brad is such a good manager. He's got all of his guys in one room tonight with a couple of bottles of wine and a case of beer because they heard that Mike Perry was on tonight oh, yeah. and that they should pay attention to what Mike Perry says. And Chinese food, too. They got the Chinese food from the restaurant Chinese across food. the street. Yeah. And, and if, okay, let's the see. other thing, too, for Audrey is, uh, if you remember right last year, I showed the the Minder, the Home Minder by Minder Research for the pet. Another one, yep. Which yep. will show you temperature. It'll alert you if the temperature goes up too high or if the temperature goes down right to your phone so and you can monitor your pen your pet with the uh, camera as well yeah Same Audrey, thing. yeah she has two golden retrievers that she brings with her oh okay yeah. all right it, let's um, let's get back to let's get back to mike's price because like, there's there's one here that I found. she she would need that product this this i found very interesting it's one of those things that you you look at and say well how come somebody didn't do that before right mike yeah, I mean this this little cover has been doing really good. It's uh, it's called the Clever Cover by Trailosphere, and I just happen to have a sample here for it. Put it on, Mike. Yeah, you wear it. I'm surprised <laughs> how many dealers have said that. You know, it's yeah. one of those things. But I mean, <laughs> gentlemen out in the state of Washington actually came up with this idea, and it's all yeah, a little more props. Every single electric jack that's out there is a cover for each jack because every jack is is made different it's a different size it has different things on it um and what it's going to do is it's going to protect those jacks that are out there because nowadays uh, a lot of these smart jacks that are out there they're basically what i call 189 dollar disposable jack because they're sealed. You can't get into them to repair them. You can't change out switches when they go bad. You just have to throw it away and get a new one. Okay. So, Mike, this, I, I was thinking that that was something that you put over the power pedestal, but this is something you put on the end of your travel trailer. This is what, right? You're, right? Hit. This is what you're going to put on your electric tongue jack. So yep. Electric tongue jack. Right. Yep. yep. So you've got okay. A place to put your your chains instead of draping them over your a-frame and chipping your paint on the a-frame or down in the mud or the snow and march you want to head down to florida for a little bit and warm up but you find out your chains are frozen into the ice because they fell off your a-frame um, these will hold it up there to keep your plug outlet your seven-way plug goes into this pouch 
So again, it keeps it out of the elements, whether it's snowy elements or you're down in the deserts of Arizona where it gets all hot and dry down there. Mm. Keeps everything out of the elements. Plus, you can also use the switches as well as the light that they usually put on the front knob. Mike, is that something that would be suitable for traveling as well or only when you get to your destination? Um, no, you can. it locks right in place. It actually has a place that you can put a padlock on it to lock okay. it. Nobody can steal it, take it off or anything. And all of our dealers up in the Northeast can, if they're not stocking them now, um, a lot of them are, um, they'll be able to order them through their local distributor. So if you go in there, they don't have the jack that you have, they can order it and they can have it the next day. Mm -hmm. And if you did forget to forget a rain hat, you could use that in a pinch as well. As long as your head will fit in it. Absolutely. But I mean, it's all. Well, our, heads, our heads won't fit in it. Yeah. So that would be a normal person. Yeah. But I mean, the dealers really like it. I mean, it's a heavy duty vinyl. It was well thought out. It's got ventilation built on both sides of the head. So you don't get that condensation build up on the plastic, you know, where your switches are. I mean, it's a matter of, you know, do you want to pay $45 a switch plus the dealer's labor if they can even change out the switches or $39.95 for a for a nice uh, cover that's going to take care of it and make the jack last a little longer. Well, that's for years. Well, there, yep. there, there must have been a lot of people uh, changing out their uh, power jacks to have an inventor be creative enough to do it and do it for everyone that's out there. So there's obviously a real problem in the marketplace that's not being discussed. And if you have one of these electric jacks, you probably should spend another $40 to protect it. Yeah, I mean, the gentleman that came up with this idea, I mean, he, like I said, he lives in Washington State, and he bought an RV for him and his family, and, you know, he just couldn't understand how come nobody had even come up with that kind of an idea yet, like what he came up with, so. That's amazing. <laughs> A lot of people use Ikea bags. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, let me, let me drop that down. I, I, I'm going to make uh, Audrey envious again because Mike's got this fantastic thing for her, uh, her dogs and everybody else with a dog out there. Yeah, look at it. It's a golden, Audrey. <laughs> there you yeah. go. Your dog, too. This, yep. this, this is really something, Mike. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's nothing that you can purchase through a dealer. This is directly through Safety Step, which we all know Safety Step in the RV industry makes the – you know, the, the safest step on the market and the heaviest duty step on the market. It, you can't tip it. But they came up with this this deal here with the picket fence. Um, it's a 16-piece set. It's 135 square feet that encloses all around your camper, and it even has the fence that goes behind your step. It's all, you know, patented to fit perfectly underneath your steps. Um, it's got a front gate. It stores in a three by three space and the fence sections themselves are three feet by 32 inches tall and there's no digging mm. and uh, you can order them right online. It's uh, if you, if you got a pen, Audrey, you can write this down. <laughs> it's www.picketplay.net. And mm. they actually have a video on there, of how it sets up and, um, yeah, I mean, you can order it right online through them right there. Hey, Bob, feel free to drop me down and put uh, put uh, that picture up bigger if you want. <laughs> Bob dropped out. <laughs> yeah, I think we lost him. I think we lost him. Mike, um, how about uh, MSRP on that safety step? Um, it, it's eight, it's eight ninety five, and it's all free shipping. Eight hundred ninety five dollars. Yep. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Did I get did I get that right? Picketplay.net, Mike. Yeah, picketplay.net. Okay. Now, uh, Bob, the thing I mentioned is if you want to drop me down so they can show that picture bigger, go go right ahead to, to do it, that. It won't, it won't show bigger, John. It, it won't, won't okay. Show okay. Three across. It'll be actually actually winds up being smaller, uh, going down to the three. But uh, we can we can post these. You know, one of the things we haven't done in the past is uh, we can post these pictures on the on the chat after uh, after we're off the show i don't know why i never thought of that before but i guess it took uh audrey to take get us talking about dogs and play pens um 
and that's and that's why I figured we'd put it up because I know we got a lot of people out there that have pets and they go camping with them. And this how tall is that? How tall is it, Mike? It's uh, thirty-two inches tall. So about two and a half feet. Yep. Two and a yeah. half feet. Um, Jeff Jeff Davis has a question completely unrelated to what we're talking about tonight, but we'll ask it anyways and see what your opinion is, Mike. Jeff wants to know what's the most silent air conditioner roof unit on the market, and I know Jerry will plug uh, Jerry will chime in with uh, his comments there. So hang hang on, Jeff, and we'll get you a couple of answers as we uh, as we go along here. Yeah, I mean, you know, the the Coleman, you know, low pro profile Mach 8, I mean, that's one of the quietest units out on the market, and it doesn't have a lot of draw on the amperage when it first starts up the compressor. Um, yeah, I mean, it's one of the one of the best ones out on the market right now. Okay. Dwayne, Dwayne did make it. He says, yeah, in chat. So when he says me too, I assume he means that Chad had a – Hustle him across the mud pond, right. also from from the vehicle. So, right. Well, glad glad you are here, Dwayne. Um, you know, speaking about low profile, Mike. Let me uh, let me just you know that's uh, kill that. We're talking about a person or a product? <laughs> uh, well, actually, I'm going to talk about something else that's a low profile that I wasn't aware we had out there yet. And here we go. Speak to that, Mike. Again, Max Air has, has come out with some low profile. Um, they're not just covers. Uh, you've got the you've got the the uh, the Max Air. You've got the um, I mean the Mini Max, the Mini Max Deluxe, and they introduced the Mini Max Deluxe H out at the uh, RVX. And uh, I also believe, from what I've heard and read, that they also are introducing a new um, Mini Max Deluxe with a motion sensor. The Mini Max is a non-powered vent. It, uh, it has a opening closing device inside of it. it. You can see it on the picture there with the, you got the fan and then you have the lights. Well, there's a little lever over there that you just open and close open and close so it actually replaces most people are replacing their bathroom vents with these um, mm -hmm. so there's no more cranking up the bathroom vent there's no more pushing the button to turn that little fan on if you go with the max the the mini max deluxe it just replaces your your vent it's a cover in itself. It has the 12 volt power fan and it also has the LED light. So a lot of people are using that LED light as a night light. Mike, being the English sure. language expert that I am, isn't a uh, mini max deluxe three contradictions? <laughs> no. Mini max. I mean, it's either going to be max or mini, but how can it be a mini max? Because it's max air. Because <laughs> it's a small max air. There you go. Right now, this. How um, are you getting any attention from the OEMs on this, so that they have a lower profile roof on stuff like the Class Bs and what have you? Your, your Winnebago Class As are using it in their bathrooms. They've been using it now for a couple of years. Um, uh, at the show that I was at two weeks ago, um, I pointed out to the dealer and also the parts manager, the units that were at the show that actually had this on there that they weren't aware of. Um, and the Minimax Deluxe H on the end, that's something new. I haven't even seen that one myself, but if you have a vent over your shower, um, that is actually made to go in the shower vent area so that you can still draw the air out. And it has four soft white LED lights in all four corners for the shower area. You're talking the bubble or, or another kind of vent? No, if it's, if it's a 14 by 14 vent over the shower, this will replace that 14 by 14 vent. Mm. Interesting. Okay. Very good. All right, uh, Mike, I'm going to drop you down for 30 seconds or so. Yep. John, do your commercial while I uh, change yeah. out here. I just want to tell people to um, uh, please share this. I know somebody already came on right at 701 and shared it. And just, you know, hit that share button um, down below. It allows us to reach thousands of other people each week. Um, you know, we have a number of people that watch us, but we have thousands more that watch us on replay.
some that watch us live, like you guys, and um, others that um, watch us on replay, based upon the suggestions that you make to them. So with that being said, I know Bob wants to talk about our after show show at our sponsor this week, Cold That's Spring. That's right. Week number two of our contest, you can win. Uh, the contest is on our Facebook page. Just slide down and you'll see it. If you don't see it, you go to nerdda.com forward slash contest. You enter the contest. We do it every week. It's for $100 gift certificate. This week, our sponsor and the place where you can redeem that gift certificate is Cold Springs RV up in Ware, New Hampshire. And the top photo shows their full full dealership capabilities. This is really an amazing dealership, uh, just a little bit west of Concord and Manchester, New Hampshire. And they have the full dealership with everything from pop-ups to motorhomes. They have a complete service department. They just built a brand new service building. They have a complete RV body paint and pro, pro body paint shop to do everything from minor repairs to complete fiberglass fabrication and painting, uh, new body paint, full body paint. And they have the Cold Springs Camp Resort right out behind the dealership, over 300 sites, everything from 10 sites to destination camping park models, five swimming pools, five-star resort, uh, one of the nicest ones in the area. And if you ever need anything, just walk down the street to the, walk through the woods to the store and pick it up. Or if something happens, you call them up and they send a service technician right over to your campsite and get you all fixed up. And uh, great company. And uh, we appreciate their sponsorship this week on week two of our contest. And if you see anybody there, especially named Scott Silva, tell them that um, RV in New England sent you. There you go. Scott and uh, Ray Panzino and uh, the sales manager and Joe Melanson, who's a friendly face. He's been out there for a number of years. Joe's a great salesman up there. We saw him at the New Hampshire show also with the rest of the team, but a great team. And uh, let me see now. You, OK, so we did that that low profile thing. This is interesting, Mike, because there seems to be a lot of devices that you're putting in the ceiling that come with shades now. So I guess people got sick of looking at the translucent light or something. Well, Max, I mean, you know, a lot of people are using uh, those those pillows to put inside the vents to mm. keep the sunlight out because it's, you know, putting a glare on the TV set when they're trying to watch TV. But, yeah, I mean, Max Air came out with the Max Shade and the Max Shade Plus uh, about a year ago, and it's doing really good on the market. Um the, the Mac shade itself is obviously for non-powered um, vent. And the Mac shade plus is if you have a 12 volt power fan and you want to put this over that, um, it has LED lights that you can turn on. That's what the little black button is on that unit. So you can push the, and you can see the LED lights up there in the corner. So that's a little mood lighting? That's a little mood lighting for inside, but it definitely blocks off the sunlight, um, keeps a lot of the heat from coming through out. So yeah, it's it's doing really well out there in the market. That's pretty. That's interesting. Okay, let's go to let's go to Carefree. We haven't talked about Carefree, and you sent us a couple of Carefree products that you you wanted to talk about, and uh, I saw them. Where'd they go? Here's one. Uh, oh, that's the uh, Simply Shade. I can't really see it all on mine. Yeah, here. Simply Shade. Yeah. Yeah, but before you go into that, let me just ask a question on those Max Air products. Are those products that um, a consumer could um, install themselves, or are generally these going to be uh, nope. store store nope. done? They, they can install it themselves. It just attaches right to the inner the inner flange on their existing um, uh, vent, and the unit itself snaps right onto that part. Okay. okay. So, so, yeah. John, are you are you asking that question for Michelle? No, actually, Marotta, I, I no, was asking. No, 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 Michelle, no, Michelle Matthews asked, is it easy to install? So, Michelle, I assume you're talking about the uh, shades and the vent covers that we were just uh, showing with the LED light. So uh, they're saying that that is uh, easily done by a uh, self uh, a do it yourself -er. So, yeah, you can do that. Walter Swenson just joined us. Good evening, gentlemen. He must have been late cooking supper tonight if he's uh, just joining us now. Well, glad to have you, Walter. All right, there was another Carefree 
product. That, no, oh, let's let's finish up on the simple shade. So, what's so simple about the simple shade? Well, simply shade is exactly that. It's a it's a cash and carry product that you can get at any RV dealership. Um, it's a DIY do it yourself installation. Um, it's very simple, and um, I mean, it's it's available in two colors, black or white. Um, if you want fabric to you know match your unit um, we can get you discounted pricing on the um, the upgrade fabric and um, it comes it, it's made to fit windows that um, are 36 inches tall or up to 36 inches tall and it'll go over windows between three feet and six feet so it's all in different increments so you measure out the size of your window, you add two and a half inches onto that and go to your dealer and you can order them. So if you want to replace out your, your or add window awnings, um, this is the easiest way to do it. On a, Mike, on a DIY. does this product um, involve drilling holes in the side of your unit? It does. It does. Okay. That's, all in, that's all in the instructions. Um, okay. Because I, I would think... Uh, I'm a perfect example of all do-it-yourselfers are not created equal. And I could probably put a decal on the side of my unit, but I'd be leery to it to do so. But I think it's safe to say that everything that you're showing here could also be installed at some of the dealerships that you, uh, yep, absolutely. That you deal absolutely. with. Um, would, would we be putting you on a limb if we said name some of the ones here in New England that um, – um, stock this product that, that you sell so that, uh, or are there too many to, to reel off? In yeah, short we got, yeah. I mean, you got quite a few carefree dealers out there. I mean, most all your dealers are carrying carefree products. So mm -hmm. that's why I say yeah. that you can go to any one of them. And if, and if they don't have the sizes you're looking for, it's just a matter of, uh, they can get it the next day for you. Okay. Only, I only asked you that because obviously people can't buy direct from you. So nope. they have to buy through the retailer. Through the dealer. Yep, absolutely. What's this one, Mike? Um, right now, you're looking at the um, the Carefree. Um, it's a remote upgrade kit for again mobile application. If you have any 12 volt Carefree power awning, you can add these kits. And uh, I had the uh, kit numbers on there for you. And um, we can always add them later, Mike. Yeah, I mean, we got three different kits out there. Uh, one is just for um, the remote control, you know, off of your 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 iPhone or, or Android phone, which is a Bluetooth app. And uh, the next upgrade kit is going to you're going to be able to install it, and uh, it has the automatic roll up. So if it starts to rain out, you don't have to worry about it. It'll automatically roll your your unit back up. And then the other kit has the, um, the, the, the key fob with it. You're looking uh, retail-wise at, you know, any, any of your RV dealers out there can get it if they don't already have it. And uh, it starts around $95 and it goes up to $127. You know, you know what I like about these, these products, Mike, especially these Bluetooth products? A lot of the new RVs obviously are coming with the uh, – you know, the Lippert One Control or the uh, ASA in-command system that has the tablet. So they're already coming with a lot of these devices that are Bluetooth enabled and they run off the smartphone or they have a tablet that comes with it. But there's 9 million other RVs on the road. Already. So you, you can enjoy the same benefits as the person in the next campsite that might have a new unit. You can start to add these uh, devices and hook them up to your phone and be just as comfortable sitting outside with a beer and saying, I want that, let my awning out, or I want to change my lights or control my temperature. You can have all the same benefits as a brand new rig. Yeah. You could, you could be backing your unit up and, and stop to have it set. And as you're getting out of your, your vehicle to go on hook it, you can hit your remote button on your, on your phone and your awning will already be out by the time you get there. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's, it's a simple install. You, you're just going to pull off the, the, the end cap off the top and you're just going to wire it into the existing wiring that's already out there. Well, you know, the other thing that's great about these, which I just thought of because uh, I'm kind of like John, I'm, I'm clumsy and 
I, I didn't always put my awnings in when I should put them in if there was a rainstorm coming. But if you're sitting, you know, if you left your campsite and it was bright sunshine, and all of a sudden you get to the restaurant and a dark cloud comes overhead and you, you ask your, your partner, did you, uh, did you put the awning in? And they say no, then you can just pull this out and put the awning in, right? Yep. Save yourself a big bill. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Hey, I, I'm ashamed to say it, but I will say it, and my wife will uh, verify this. In the 15 years that we've been RVing, I have never once put out my awning for fear of it not coming back in. <laughs> and, um, you know, I look, I look at these new units, and these are the manual ones that you have to use that rod and pull them out, and et cetera. But, you know, some of these automatic ones are looking rather tempting. Well, you you and you and Chuck Woodbury, because I I know he didn't I know I know he, he never took it when he when he, he, huh? he yeah. took it right when off his, when he had his avia. I, I don't know if on the new adventure if he's uh, been brave enough to uh, put it out on there. Uh, let's see, we got some more stuff here, and we're already yep. up to nine nine fifty. Let's let's yep. see this other one. I think Mike, we have more. Hey, yep. Bob, while you're while you're getting that ready. Um, yeah. Uh, Mike, if there are people like me that for, for whatever reason don't feel comfortable putting their existing awning out, um, how much of a deal is it to, how much of a issue is it to install the uh, automatic ones? Is that a big deal or? No, or that's, no? What I, that's what I was saying. You just pull the end cap off of the, of the, uh, the awning itself and you have the wiring, everything's right there from already being electric awning. Just a matter of connecting the wires up, you know, through the directions on the kits. But I mean, if you don't have an, an electric awning, yeah, um, is it a big job from a? Um, and I, I would never attempt it myself. Is it a big job for a dealer to do? Well, you'd have to buy an electric awning, right? And they would install it for you, or they can order you the awning that already has the uh, system in it. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Which yeah. is which is called the uh, the altitude awning by Carefree. Altitude. Yep. Yep. Okay, Skylight Shade. Another yeah. Another shade uh, product. Here's, a, here's another company um, that hired us back in December, uh, Duraform. And, you know, on the dealer side of it, dealers all know the, the Duraform name. I mean, they're the ones that make your shower pans, your tub pans, your, your, your tub surroundings. Um, your, your shower skylights and this year they came out with the skylight shades again people have been asking for the shades so in the uh, in the shower areas to block off the sunlight and keep the heat out from coming through you got to remember not everybody camps up in New England a lot of people are out in the deserts and all that stuff and the heat just comes right through so they came out with two different shades for your skylight in the shower area. One just being a, a standard shade and the other one right here, um, that shade's called the blackout shade. So it actually is made with material that helps keep the sunlight from coming through as well as the heat coming in with the sun. And it's all mold resistant. Um, it comes with all the mounting hardware. It's a low profile inside and it basically uh again goes on the uh, the existing flange interesting hmm. all right did we cover them all mike you yeah. did wow but and you know w one of the reasons why we like to have you on besides the fact you know so much more than most of us poor souls that don't have a clue to this is this is the the kickoff to the camping season so i know you don't i, I know you don't have a schedule yet but we do run into you during some of our dealer open houses. So I want to encourage people that, you know, if our dealers have, now I, I assume you're not going out to Tim's this weekend. You're still going to be out of town this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so will you be at majors? Will you be at majors in May? I'm not majors. Um, I, you know, they have two open houses. They have one in spring in May and then they have their other one in October. And, uh, you know, I, I told him, I said, I can do one or the other. Which one do you want me at? So I'm always going to be at the October one. And uh, unfortunately, I'm going to be out in Syracuse, New York, that same weekend doing an open house out in Syracuse. So. Okay. All right. So we'll, we'll just tell people to make sure that when they do go to the dealer open house, because I know one of the ways that you support our, all of our dealers, which we appreciate, is by 
showing up at the open house with a lot of these products. I know your wine guide products and your dish TV products, uh, and and you're the source of experience for them. So you answer the same kinds of questions that you asked tonight, but you answer them all day long for the yeah. for the people that come into the open house. Yeah, we do. Yeah, I mean, dealer resources group. We're, we've got a great bunch of guys, and you know, we've we've all been in the business, the industry for a long time. I mean, I'm going on my 37th year. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's <says> it. <laughs> what was that John? he says with a chuckle and he should say that his beard was white when he got into the business yeah exactly you know, it was black when he <laughs> got into the business but you know bob i don't know if you can see audrey's comments there about you know those uh on and which one which one you talk about the one dancing yeah. on the roof both of them they're um um you know, and the other one as well. Um, awnings are an issue that some people, as soon as they get to their campsite, have that awning out. And some that people- was, that, was, that was me. That was me. That was the first thing The first thing they did. And some people make the mistake of taking that awning, leaving that awning out, even if they say, oh, we're only going away for an hour. But I have seen them swinging in the breeze up at- um, up at the KOA in Bahaba one uh, year, wind came up real quick. And, you know, I've I've heard of people who had prevosts where the awning came loose because one of the family members, when they were driving down Interstate 87 from Quebec down to Myrtle Beach, uh, hit a button that didn't have a kill switch on it and put the awning out when they were doing 65 miles an hour on the Northway. That didn't end well never does no, no. I, I i ruined an awning once on one of my travel trailers i left it out and i had had it uh i didn't uh slope it so the water would go up and i came back to the campground and there was so much water in that awning i thought it was going to tip the trailer over so it was it was not a good not a good time but well, uh, that awning i was telling you about the the uh, altitude awning i mean that that actually has so many improvements on it and it has exclusive features. One of the features is it, it has a memory pitch. So you set the pitch of your awning, uh, whether it's to block the sun or to, you know, to drain the, the water off of it. Uh, every time you open and close that awning, it automatically goes to that pitch. Hmm. Wow. Hey, Bobby, if Walter's still with us, do we want to give him a second to uh, I'm sure he is. event coming up? Um, I, I don't have it in front of me. You talk about Memorial Day? It's Memorial Day, if he's, if he's still there. And we uh, should give Mike Perry credit tonight for being with us um, for the whole hour instead of the last 10 minutes like he's been lately. Hey, Who is, Who's that? Me. Mike Perry. Oh, oh yeah. He had no choice tonight, so. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think there were people. I think there were people from our audience that were giving him some heat a couple weeks ago. Looney well, Tunes, well, right? Well, 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 Walter, Walter says that well, happens when you leave the remote control in your pocket while driving, too. See? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Walter is there. Now, now, the, now, the sto now the stories come out. I, I think we covered, um, and Mike, I would ask you also uh, if you get a chance tonight or tomorrow to go back through the comments and any questions that we didn't get to yep. that you have an answer for. You put those in there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Michelle, of, says, like Michelle says hello to Ava, but I don't see Ava on there. So, hello, Ava. I assume you're in California tonight. Uh, glad to have you join us. Uh, that's about it, guys. So, uh, any closing statements, uh, Michael, that uh, you want to leave with our friends? And our, uh, we've got a lot of dealers on here tonight. See how popular you are? I know, right? No, I mean, it's, uh, you know, the, the products are coming out all the time. Like I said, we're going to be out in Indiana in two weeks doing training with uh, with WAFCO because we start uh, start repping for those guys on May 1st. Uh, we've got a couple other of our, of our vendors, wine guards coming out there. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to be listening to probably some new product lines you're talking about and um, see what happens. Well, then we'll have to bring you back in after the season. <laughs> after we all after we all get through the season, we'll we'll bring you back in uh, yeah. after Columbus Day, and we'll talk about the recap and and what we look forward to. Okay, Walter did just put it up here, so he's quick on the trigger. So the Mass Good Sam Rally is Memorial Day, out Memorial in Day Greenfield, right? Not Greenfield. the 
campgrounds. And May 24th to 7, online Great. registration is available. And uh, he just put that up also. So will we do that? We're on sale now. On sale now. So go to massgoodsam.com and you go to online registration. Mike, thanks very much. It's always a pleasure to have you on. Any closing comments, John, before we head out? No, this one, you know what? It's always great having Mike on because there's so many new products that are coming out that when you walk into the dealership um, parts department, not parts department, but uh, store, there's so many units there that you, you can't tell what's new. And um, I, I saw a big wine guard display down at Campers Inn today in Connecticut. And, um, you know, I'm sure that this will be a nice addition to it, the one that you talked about, Mike. Yeah, I mean, you know, I saw your video down there, John, and it's like, uh, you know, dealer resources imprints all over that store. So, <laughs> <laughs> the way it be. Um, well, there, there certainly isn't anybody in New England that doesn't know who Mike Perry is, and I'm sure, I'm sure within his territory. So, uh, we should also take a second to congratulate Arlington on the brand new store that they've got um, put together. I don't know, was that your work, Mike? Um, I was, I was there. Yep, yeah. I was. Yeah. Uh, Helping set that store up. <laughs> it's unbelievable. They have no the, the low rack, so you can see throughout the whole store. It just looks so much bigger, and they added a nice lounge, and uh, it really looks professional. I don't know if Jim is still on, but I know that's his his department. Yeah, they did a they did a great job, and uh, it was it was it was fun helping them get it ready. And oh, no, we, we had, lost them. We had. And the, I, I was frozen up just before that. All right, Mike, uh, we did lose you, Mike. So thank you no, very he's much. There. Huh? He's there, Bob. Can you see him? Oh, okay, so it's black, it's black on mine. All right. All right, Mike, we appreciate it. Uh, John, I'll give you the closing word before we head out. No, again, thanks to Mike, and uh, thanks to all of our dealers. Thanks to our studio audience, and folks, just share, share, share. Okay, good night now. We'll see you next week. Good night, guys.